So why should someone take the ASA designation course? Because it's the future. It's just that simple. I mean, the original name of the course was the future is old. <laughs> and, and the idea is, Chris, that you've got to capture demographic. Let's not kid ourselves. We've had 12, 13 years of a run that we've never seen in real estate. It's unprecedented. But it's going to come to an end. We know it's going to come to an end. Not because the economy, not because of it, just there's a point of a peak, but there's a point where there's just not enough kids to perpetuate it. Right, that whole thing with the, in 2014, the number of 65 year olds will be greater than the number of 15 year olds. So, therefore, the first time buyer market will change. And, and, and regardless of how much it changes, it's still much more susceptible to interest rates, to house prices compared to an older demographic that may have to move or needs to move because of size of house or cost of maintenance, that kind of thing. Well, let's put it in simpler terms. How about an old fashioned Ponzi scheme? You pay the person, the person that comes in the bottom pays the people at the top. Well, Chris, this is whole thing has been predicated on young people, first time buyers coming in. What happens when you run out of, quote, the Ponzi scheme with investors, or you run out of just people in the bottom that come in to perpetuate this market? We're running out of people. And don't give me this thing about immigration going to take over. People don't come off a plane these days with hundreds of thousands, there's the investor program. We're talking the average immigrants. Yeah. They have to get established and everything. And where are they going? They're moving into the burbs and other communities today. They're going to Saskatchewan, for goodness sakes, today. More so than Ontario. Um, so immigration is not going to cut it. We have a demographic tsunami that's going to hit. And if people aren't prepared, they're not going to function. 